It's time for Math Story Problem of the Day Woo! with your host, Miss Croninger. Three, two, one, and action. Hello, everybody. I am back with a quick little lesson about number bonds. So you've probably seen these before in your child's red folder. We've been doing number bonds for a few weeks now. And what I want to do is create a few videos to give you a story problem of the day so that um, you don't have to really think about that and you can just watch the video and let your kid um, do it with me, which is fun. So this is what a number bond looks like. It's three circles. Um, many times the circles are the same, but for this I made the whole circle, the big one, that's where we're going to put the whole amount. And then these two smaller circles are for the two parts that make up a number. So real quickly, um, I have kids all the time show me number bonds. And the way we do that is I'll have a number of the day or a number we talk about in calendar and I'll say, show me that number with your fingers. And so, for example, the number four can be shown in lots of ways, right? It could be four plus zero. Um, I do have a broken finger, so <laughs> counting with fingers is a little tricky. Um, it could be three and one. Those are two parts and the whole is four. It could be two and two. So um, we want them to understand that there are lots of different ways to get those numbers. So this is where we write our two parts and then this is the whole amount that we have. And um, this gives them a really good visual idea of how we break the numbers down and it shows addition and subtraction which is really great because you can say this plus this equals this you can also say this minus this equals this so it makes it um, really easy for them to understand so I want to do a story problem with you today and I'm feeling a little silly doing these videos it's not what I'm used to doing so I have a really really great um, story problem for you and as I say the story problem, we're going to fill in the number bond here and then we're going to write a number sentence with the numbers that we use in our problem, okay? So first, we're going to listen to the story. Miss Croninger has three rolls of toilet paper, and that's all. And Miss Tinny has four rolls of toilet paper. Now, how many rolls of toilet paper do they have all together? And that word all together is key. That means that in the story, I have given you two parts, but I have not given you the whole or the all together amount. So we're gonna say the story problem again, and this time I'm gonna write the numbers in, okay? So Miss Croninger has how many rolls of toilet paper? Do you remember? It was three, three rolls. So I'm gonna put that in the first part, three. And Miss Tinny has four rolls of toilet paper. So I'm going to put the four there. Okay, so you could do many different things to solve this problem and find what the whole amount is. You can count on your fingers. You could use tally marks. You could use dots or pictures to show. Um, you could also count on. But today, because I really like this way, we're going to do dots, and then when we do these problems the next couple days, I'll show you some other ways to solve them, okay? So for today, use your fingers or use dots. So next to this part, the number three, I'm going to draw three dots right outside. One, two, three. And next to this part, I'm going to draw four dots. One, two, three, four. And then to add them together, all I have to do is count all the dots that I've drawn. To count them, I'm going to put a mark through them so that I don't accidentally count them twice. So here's one, two, three dots, four, five, six, seven dots. So all together, the whole amount is seven. So that means I can draw a seven up here in the whole circle, okay? Now the next part of this, um, and your kiddos have had plenty of practice doing this, is writing a number sentence from the number bond, okay? So we're gonna look at these numbers in the number bond, write our number sentence out next to it. So there are lots of different sentences that you could write and all of them are fine, all of them are great. 
So the first one I think of is three plus four equals seven. So that's the one I'm gonna write first. Three plus four equals seven. And usually I have you do one addition and one subtraction sentence from the number bond. So if we do a subtraction sentence, that is trickier. You need to start with the whole and then take one of the parts away. So we're gonna start with seven and I'll say seven minus three equals, what part is left? Seven minus three equals four, okay? So that is a number sentence, and adults, that's what you're used to seeing with addition and subtraction. Now, if your kiddos are getting this um, up to 10 and getting it correctly, it's okay to move past 10 all the way up to 20. At school, I have a few friends who like to add 100 plus 100 is 200, and that's awesome. They understand the pattern of the zeros and the place value. So that's great um, if your kiddo can do that, but if they can't, get up to 10 and get them used to seeing these number bonds with numbers up to 10 and then gradually increase in the teen numbers. But those teen numbers are tricky because uh, we sometimes flip them around and say that 15 is 51. So we have to be careful to keep our numbers in the right place value place. Okay, so that's it for today. And I will be back with another story problem. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it makes sense. Always, if you have questions, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to answer and help in any way I can. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.